Hello guys. Today I'm here with a new project in Scratch and I hope all the projects taught in the previous classes are clear to you. So friends, let's start today's session. Have you heard of quiz competitions? Today we will conduct a quiz program with the help of Scratch. For this project, we don't need our sprite Tommy. So remove him from the sprite list and choose another sprite by clicking here. Click on animals and we can choose a penguin. So scroll down. Can you see penguin here? So click on it. Yes, so the penguin is in the stage. Now we can do the algorithm. Go to events and drag and drop the first block when flag clicked. Now go to looks and select the block say hello for 2 seconds and just drop it below the first block. Click on the flag. You can see the penguin said hello. Now for the third block, go to sensing and choose the block ask and wait. You can see something written over here. So what's your name? Click on the flag and the word penguin said hello and asked what's your name. Can you see a box here? So here we can write a name. You can write any name here. I am typing Ria and now click on this tick mark. Now for the next block, go to looks and drag and drop the block say hello for 2 seconds. We can just replace this hello with hi. So type hi here. Now once again choose the same block say hello for 2 seconds. And here instead of saying hello, our penguin should reply with the name that we have answered for his question, what's your name? So we need to replace hello with another block. For that, go to sensing and choose the answer block and place it over here. So click on the flag. You can see he said hello, what's your name and then said hi Ria. Now for the next block, go to looks. And choose say hello for 2 seconds. Now our penguin should see. Let's start the quiz. So just delete the word hello and type. Let us start the quiz. So when we click on the flag, he will see hello. What's your name? Hi. And we'll say the name. Then say let us start the quiz. The next block must be selected from the sensing. So choose ask and wait block from sensing. Now delete what's your name and type a question there. You can type any question as your wish. Here my question is on which planet do we live? Friends, do you know the answer? The answer is Earth. So we need to answer that question, right? For that we need to choose another block. So now go to controls and choose if then else block. So select that and drag and drop it just below here. Now to the question of penguin we need to answer. The answer can be right or wrong. If we give the right answer we need to do some action. If it is wrong or else we need to do another action. So let us check what we will do. Now go to operators and you can see an equal block there. So just drag and drop it in this space provided over here. Now in this space, we need to place another block from sensing. So go to sensing and you can see a block answer. Just drag and drop in place here. Now replace this 50 with the correct answer. So to the question asks, on which planet do we leave? The answer is Earth. So type Earth there. So now if we give the correct answer Earth, we need to do some action like it is the right answer. So choose 
say hello for two seconds block from looks and replace hello with well done and correct answer so now if the answer is correct our penguin will say well done correct answer for two seconds now if we give the wrong answer the penguin should say wrong answer so we need to choose the block say hello for two seconds once again just delete hello and type sorry wrong answer so yes so for the question if we give correct answer penguin will see well done correct answer and if the answer is wrong he'll see sorry wrong answer so click on the flag penguin said hello now what's your name we need to type our name there so i'm giving name is ria now he will see hi ria Yes, let us start the quiz and he asked on which planet do we live? So we can type the correct answer, Earth. Now click on this tick. Yes, he said, oh, well done, correct answer. Now let us check what will happen if we say the wrong answer. So we can type the wrong answer for his question. So for this question, we will give a wrong answer like Mars. So type Mars. Now click on this tick. Yes, he said, sorry, wrong answer. We need to show the score of this quiz program here. So for that, we need to create a score variable. So go to variables and you can see make a variable here and type score. So you can see the score in this portion. Now select this change my variable block and place it over here. Now, for every correct answer, our score will get incremented. So, score will be increased by 1. Click on the flag and let's check whether the score is incremented or not. So, I'm giving the correct answer, typing earth here. can see our score get increased by one now for every correct answer we should make some sound so for that go to sound and choose the block a play sound so when penguin sees well done correct answer a sound will be played so now click on this sounds now click here you can see so many sounds here, bass sound, guitar sound, you can choose any of this. We can choose from spot, so click here and choose the cheer sound. So whenever give give the correct answer, a cheer sound will play. So back to code. Now click here, you can see cheer sound here. Click on that and select cheer. Now click on the flag. And you can see this cheer sound when you give the correct answer. So yes, you can see. So you can hear the cheer sound and you can see he said well done. Now replace this 2 seconds with 1 second. The score should be 0 every time we restart the quiz. But you can see the score is increasing every time we restart the quiz. So we need to choose another block to avoid this. So go to variables and choose the block set my variable to 0. So now the score will be 0 every time we restart the quiz. So let us check by clicking the flag. So the score becomes zero at the starting time of quiz. So you have asked one question in this quiz program. Like this, you can add so many questions in this quiz program. And for that, we need some of these blocks. We need blocks from here. So we need all these blocks. So just right click on this ask and wait. And you can see a duplicate option. Click on that. So you will get a duplicate blocks of these and just drag and drop it just below. 
here now just replace this question with another question so just delete the question on which planet do we live and type how many continents do we have can we make it a multiple choice question so we can give four options also so along with this question give options so i'm giving option as a8 now b9 then c7 and finally d10 now we should give the right answer also so what is the right answer so we have seven continents and we need to give the answer here so just delete the word earth and type c there so yes so now if we get the right answer our pen can will see you well done correct answer if it is wrong he will see sorry wrong answer so let's check by clicking the flag so for his questions we are going to answer the first answer for the first question is earth so now type earth and click on the flag that is right answer so you can see our score has incremented now the second question how many continents do we have the answer is 7 so type the option there option c now click on the tick mark yes so our score has increased to 2 so you can add so many questions like this for that you need to make a duplicate of these blocks Finally after all this question and after this quiz competition we need to show game over so we need to choose a block so go to looks and choose see hello for 2 seconds just uh, drag and drop it here now replace hello with game over so now when we click the flag and after this quiz competition session it will show game over we can make it more entertaining so our penkin will jump and see game over so for that select glide block from motion choose two glide options so this should be continue for or it should repeat for around some time so choose this repeat block and place it over here so he will jump for 10 times we should set a position for the penguin on the beginning time so just take a duplicate of this that is glide one second to x minus 12 and y 9 and just drag and drop it here so now he will be in a position x minus 12 and y 9 at the beginning So now click the flag and check the activity. So yes, you can see it's written game over and. And our penguin is jumping. So you can see our penguin jumps too slowly. So just adjust the time here, and also we need to give a background while game gets over. So we can choose a party background when game over. So we need to switch these animations. select switch backdrop from looks and select party instead of backdrop one we need to give the same block here also so choose switch backdrop to backdrop one and place it here and here we need the backdrop one itself so at the beginning of the quiz competition the background will be normal background and at the end we'll get a party background now we can adjust the time so adjusting the time to 0.5 seconds here 
and also we need to adjust time of here also so replacing one with point two so after the quiz competition it this should be repeated for 10 times so we need to place it inside the repeat block now click on the flag and check the activity so he has the name and uh, we'll give the name here so he'll say hi Ria let us start the quiz now the first question on which planet do we leave so type the answer here so yes so you can see our score will increase now now the second question answer it too so now it will show game over yes and our fan pin is in a celebration mode in this project, we just added only two questions. You can add more questions into it. You can also include more animations and sound which you have studied in the previous classes. So guys, try doing it at home and conduct a quiz program among your friends and family and check their IQ level. So I hope you all like this session and we will meet again in next session with another project. Till then, bye!